Gavin has such a fantastic, resilient spirit. He's just a lively, energetic, fun little kid. When Gavin was born, he was just a healthy, perfect baby. It wasn't until he was about six months that I noticed he was having trouble sitting up. I could remember my older son sitting up just straight as a board and Gavin couldn't do it. He kept slumping over. And that's when I started talking to the doctors about him. And they kept reassuring me that everything was fine and that we should wait and see. And it wasn't until about a year later that the doctors finally agreed with me that he was not developing typically. It was probably the toughest thing that I've ever had to personally experience being told that there's something seriously wrong with your son. After numerous tests, they diagnosed Gavin with cerebral palsy-like conditions and some cognitive delays. It was one of the most devastating moments of my life. I had a really difficult time accepting that his life might look different than what I had thought that it was going to look like. I had pictured him and his brother's relationship different. I thought they would be riding bikes together and running together and swimming together and skiing together and all the different things that little boys do together. And thinking that that might not happen was really difficult for me. Our first visit to the National Ability Center was in March of 2015 is when Gavin started doing hippotherapy. They took something as daunting as a horse to a young child that was, you know, three years old, put him on it, and they made it fun. It was pure joy. 2016, he began skiing, and he's been skiing ever since. I can just see in his eyes that he loves it. He just loves going downhill. He, when, the, when he was able to use the bucket, he loved going fast, he loved going over the jumps, and, and just looking at his face and seeing how much enjoyment he gets out of it just really means the world to me. I like go not so very no because I like skiing with my dad. It's all fun, you know, and that's really the main thing is, is hearing that giggle, seeing his dad just so stoked about him being so happy. I feel like it's great for just the parents to be able to feel relaxed that their child has a place to go to that they can feel the same as everyone else and, and have fun like everybody else does. It's hard not to get choked up about it. I think doing something yourself is truly empowering. Not so very sad to me to new things. I have no confidence now. I'm just really so grateful that the National Ability Center exists and has given us the opportunities that it has. We've been able to ski together as a family. The boys have also been able to rock climb, which is something I think they're going to be able to do together for a long time. When I look back and I think about how I felt when the doctor told me that he wasn't typically developing and how I felt then, I wish I could go back in time and just say, just wait, there's so many more things. Like, you will be amazed at how deeply you will be filled with pride at all the things that he's able to accomplish and how optimistic you'll be for his future. I do believe now more than ever that no matter what disability you have, surrounded by the right people with the right encouragement. There's nothing that any child or adult can achieve. I know Gavin has so much potential inside him and it's an organization like the National Ability Center that can really help to develop that potential and we're going to continue to do activities there and it's going to continue to help him develop and just really flourish as a person. I'm hopeful that he's going to follow his dreams no matter what they are. He can do anything he sets his mind to.